Hey guys, it's Hetty and welcome back to part 6, I think it is now, of the Art Addicts Alliance pieces that we're doing. And this month's theme was Apocalypse Paradise and I know I'm really late getting this video up but I have struggled so much with this theme. When the themes first came out I was actually really excited for this one and I thought oh it's going to be such a great way to push myself and like maybe even attempt a landscape because I had so many different ideas. I mean, just at the start of this video, I'm showing you a few little sketches. I had so many more and so many different ideas I could do to go with the video as well to help sort of get through the voiceover a bit, but I'll have to try and use those ideas for another video. Um, but yeah, it was so difficult because I wanted to try and do a landscape because it just calls for landscapes, apocalypse paradise. and. As a lot of you know, I don't normally do that. I'm a character designer, um, so that is where I prefer to be. But I did initially, I really liked the sketch I was going with. Um, but it just, as soon as it came to the colouring stage, then I just kind of froze. And I didn't know whether to do it digitally or traditionally, so I was playing backwards and forwards with that. I printed off because I did the sketch. A thumbnail sketch traditionally, cleaned it up digitally, then printed it off and did colour tests traditionally and then scanned it back in to do to try and do the work because I thought it would be easier doing it digitally but I just couldn't get motivated and I mean even with the piece that I ended up going with doing I did have a little mini very mini internal battle on whether to do it traditional or digital but I thought you know what Let's just go digital because making sure that my camera is charged was becoming just another chore and another thing that was holding me back whereas doing it digitally I've just got to load the computer up and get the programs going and I don't have to worry about something being charged up and lasting through the whole time. It My computer did struggle a little because I realised I didn't change the file size from the initial sketches that I scanned in. Um, we're actually 600 dpi um, and most artists actually will only work at about 300 and so I was wondering why my computer especially paint or side was really struggling to load the image up every time I was trying to get it up because I had to finish this piece between my daughter's naps and at bedtimes so it was just like every time it would take ages or freeze or at one point it did crash um, but then when it came to saving the file right at the end after I finished it all, then I clicked, oh crap, yeah, it's still at 600 dpi, no wonder it struggled. Um, so I have a really high resolution drawing, which is, I suppose that's nice, but yeah. So on to the piece itself. When I was going through all of my ideas, I did start considering after the fail of the landscape, I was trying to do a character design th that would match and I had I played around with a few different things like the gas masks and stuff like that and I mean the idea I had before this one was to do a girl with a gas mask on holding a big gas canister that was like a canister of oxygen or something and it was relabeled as paradise as in the air was paradise which I still really like that idea so I might do that another time but this one just kept jumping out to me, this idea, so I wanted to do, as the title of the piece is called, um, Pouring Rainbows, I think that's the title, it's a, it's a work in progress, if you have any better titles for the piece then please let me know, um, but I wanted to go with the whole zombie apocalypse theme, which is why she's got like a little machete sword thing, and then these there's the warning quarantine area sign on there and um, and I did want to kind of do a few more like blood splatters or give a, away the zombie theme a little bit more but I didn't want to use the cliche like the biohazard logo because I did consider putting that on there but I was like no that's very cliche you know so I think this gives it away just enough I mean there is a lot more I could do to this piece to make it so I'm perfectly happy but 
I think if I do work any more on it I'm going to overwork it which was one struggle I did find when I was colouring the main figure in like the one I'm doing now with the mask on um, especially with colouring her clothes the top I just kept changing um, how I was doing the shading and stuff and then I ended up shading in the boots and then it's like oh I like that really simple style so I'm just gonna go for that so I wasted half an hour trying to colour her top in previously but there we go and originally I was gonna do each individual skull in a different colour and just have the girl that's been painted on the wall sort of just watering flowers that are sat on top of skulls as if like life is growing through the death so that would be like a paradise of life sort of thing but I thought I want this to be more bright and in your face and a major contrast to what you would normally envision in like a post-apocalyptic apocalyptic world or a zombie apocalypse so I ended up doing the rainbow which it's because of being an artist you know I just kind of I'm drawn to bright colours naturally. I don't wear bright colours myself but that's that's a different thing but in my art I do love putting bright colours in and showing that I mean colour is like kind of a paradise and putting art into this picture if you get what I mean <laughs> it's showing part of it's putting part of myself in and I'm a very big fan of zombie films and stuff like that so trying to joining the two likes that I have which is art and zombie films it's kind of nice without going like cliche or over the top and doing a zombie in there but I thought the skulls on the wall would represent the death side of it but then obviously there is still the side of the new life coming through with the flowers and then the sort of like a childlike sort of theme maybe like the girl that's painting the girl is kind of showing her childish side like we're putting the bright colors on and it's kind of childish doing graffiti anyway but um yeah I suppose I really like how it turned out I do think I could have done a few more like paint drips coming down from the butterflies but overall I'm pretty happy with the piece um I'm really tempted to just take the painting off the wall like the spray painted technical picture bit the girl watering the flowers on the skulls and just take that design and put it on a t-shirt or something because I think it looked really cool so if you're interested in that please let me know but yeah anyway on to other things there is no poll for this month because we are just going to sort of have a free month and we're doing a challenge so yeah that's gonna be fun this is something I've not done for a very very long time Um, I think this month it's Ristina from Hit Art is giving away her art so please make sure you head on over to her channel as well as everyone else's and find out how you can win her original piece because I haven't seen any of the videos yet but I'm sure it's gonna be great as well as everyone else's I know pretty much all of us have struggled with this theme a lot um, but yeah I can't wait to see what everyone else has done now mine is finally finished it's currently 20 to 10 in the evening on the Friday that I'm recording this on the first so yeah that shows how late this is but anyway I'm gonna stop rambling now I think so thank you for watching I hope you like the artwork because I've put a lot of time into this so yeah anyway again thanks for watching please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video bye
Thank you. 